good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or good day, whatever the case may be. I'm really pleased to be presenting a new way of looking at disease. This is based on the David Singer Brain Body Diagram. I've adapted it to our discipline, which is called Functional Diagnostic Nutrition. My name is Reed Davis. I'm a clinical nutritionist and founder of the Functional Diagnostic Nutrition Certification Course. So I have a question for everybody because we want to jump right into the presentation here. What is that big organ in your skull that allows you to think called? That's right, it's the brain. And the brain is connected to the body in different ways, and the body communicates uh, with all of its various parts and the brain through what? Who can name a couple of things? Well, we like to focus more on the blood through which travel the hormones, and nutrients, and various elements, and the nervous system, of course, bringing intelligence from the brain throughout the body to every cell and fiber of your body. And energy, of course, travels throughout the body. Now, the purpose of all of this communication is what? It's function of heart, lungs, liver, kidneys, pancreas, adrenals, ovaries, testes, if you got them. Function is the key. That's what we are concerned with. And we believe, it's one of our tenets, that the body is designed pretty perfectly. That all the cells in your body know what their job is. That uh, they know it and don't have to be trained to do anything. Uh, we believe that you're pretty much designed for 100% function and that's what normal is. So we consider 100% function to be normal. And therefore, the body would be in a state of ease, often referred to as homeostasis. That's just fine. You can use the medical term if you like. I just like to say a body at ease. And I have a question for you. Would that be a healthy person? We're looking at a healthy person here whose brain, body, everything's communicating perfectly. We're getting 100% function. We're in a normal state of ease. Would you be healthy? The answer is yes, of course. So this is what a healthy person looks like. Is that you? Or is that how people walk into our office? Well, no, they walk in with symptoms. They have a complaint. But we just said that a body functioning normally in a state of ease is healthy. So why would you have symptoms? Well, we know that if someone has symptoms, they really have a disease process going on or they're at disease. So that's our new way of looking at disease. And, you know, it's important to note here that symptoms are the last thing to appear in a disease process. But disease processes don't just, you know, jump out of nowhere, usually. Uh, the kind of things that we see in our office, anyway, uh, usually it's because that person's had some malfunction, some loss of normal function going on for a long, long time. Cells are disrupted or organs are disrupted or systems have become disrupted due to malfunction malfunctioning systems leads to a disease process which leads to the symptoms now that is what makes us say that while symptoms might be very common they're not normal so we don't believe that there's any normal symptoms it doesn't matter if you have headaches or tiredness fatigue or uh, any you name it uh, we don't believe that that's normal, no matter how common it might be, no, no matter how many of your friends, family, neighbors, or the rest of the population have something like that going on. That's what we say. Now, people come in the office, or they go to their doctor's office, or they might go down the street to a nutrition store, what have you, and what they're looking for is relief from those symptoms. They often find that. They'll find that in the form of pills. Symptoms can go away. But very, very often, and as you can see from this model, we know that if we get symptoms to go away, I'm going to ask you, what, what's going to happen if we don't correct the disease or malfunction? They're going to come back. And they're going to come back with a vengeance, sometimes much worse. And pretty soon, pills don't work anymore. And what's next? Well... Very often we see surgery and, you know, just taking parts out. If you can't fix it with pills, eh, get rid of it. 
so that's pretty much modern medicine or even uh, allopathic nutrition it's based a lot on selling pills selling something to feel better people walking around trying to feel better trying to get rid of their symptoms they don't realize sometimes and you need to ask yourself now um, you know do I focus more on the symptoms am I really doing things to work on my underlying causes or conditions or am I just treating my symptoms symptoms are a signal that something's wrong no symptom is normal and they may go away as we said or decrease at least with relief care but often come back with a vengeance or worse than they were before so Part of the story here is to tell you about FDN and how we focus on the underlying causes of disease. Well, we may also provide some intelligent relief care. I didn't say anything was wrong with that, but we don't want to stop there. Now, how do we go about this focusing on the underlying causes of disease? Well, you know, we know there's different kinds of stress. There's eustress and distress. Distress is the bad one. And it comes in various forms. Uh, lots of people come in with sort of mental, emotional things going on. That's not one of my areas of specialty, but lots of people taking the FDN course uh, have their arms around that real well. Now, I've worked with a chiropractor for over 12 years, and she is an expert in biomechanical you know, trauma, the physical kind of things, especially onto the nervous system. What we specialize with in FDN, and, and my part as an adjunctive therapist, as a nutritional therapist in the office, has always been to work on the biochemical and physiological malfunctions, the things that really are lying within the hormone, immune, digestion, detoxification systems, and these kind of things. So this is where we focus. And I'm going to wrap things up very quickly here. This is not a long demonstration. I want to tell you that FDN focuses on identifying healing opportunities and natural therapies that restore normal function. That's worth saying again. Obviously, you know, it's functional diagnostic nutrition. You know that we're a course in lab work. And we focus on identifying those healing opportunities. And, of course, all of our protocols are very potent, proven, professional, very safe because they're all natural. And our job is to restore normal function. You can see that function here is returned, you know, malfunction is gone, function is returned to 100%. We've kind of restored normal function. And obviously then the body returns to a state of ease. We see the disease is gone, uh, no more need for uh, relief care, and actually symptoms simply disappear. At least that is our goal. That is our view of the way things are supposed to work. Symptoms disappear, Many health complaints are completely and permanently resolved, even if they were fairly serious diagnoses prior to coming to see us. And then patients learn to maintain their excellent health and teach others to do the same. Uh, we're the real doctors, in my opinion. Uh, the word doctor comes from docere, which means to teach. And that's what we do. So I just want to wrap this up by saying I'm uh, pleased to give you the new way of looking at disease. My name is Reed Davis. I'm the founder of the FDN certification course. You can find out more about the course if you're a practitioner of any kind at www.fdnmanager.com. You can always call me and speak to me personally at 858-451-7774. I'm in San Diego, California. That's Pacific Standard Time. I really look forward to talking with you. So God bless and good night. Thank you.